After the war with an update to Warframe, I noticed that the game looks downright beautiful with the addition of new post-processing updates. With the recent upgrades to my PC hardware, I've been able to squeeze out higher settings and frame rates, but this also got me thinking about the appeal of max settings. Let's delve, shall we? I'm something of a take it how I can get it sort of guy. I don't try to get the most powerful and expensive equipment because I usually can't afford it. I'll make a compromise on how much performance I can afford as long as the gameplay experience is tolerable. Take Fallout 4 and Skyrim, two of my all-time favorite game series. When Skyrim first came out in 2011, I was running a Pentium 4 with a GeForce GTX 220. The P4 could run Skyrim at 15 FPS. Frightening, I know. When I got the new PC, an AMD A8 APU, I was able to run Skyrim at a reasonable FPS, but the settings were still low to medium, even if the frame rate was a crisp 30 frames per second. Because of the generation of gaming three years ago, this was tolerable, but the appeal of max settings was starting to take hold. When I upgraded my GPU to the GTX 750 Ti, I was able to run Skyrim with the settings on high. I was seeing the game at 70% of how it was meant to be seen. With the inclusion of certain mods such as Real Vision, True Vision, Water 2, and Climates of Tamriel, the beauty of the game became too obvious to ignore. The appeal of max settings had sunk its teeth in. The beauty of Skyrim video is kind of a result of these graphical improvements. The appeal of max settings can become an addiction if it isn't reined in. The best PC hardware isn't cheap, and often the only option is to go with consoles, which only recently have been able to match the quality of PCs. For those who forego consoles, the PC market is inundated with high-grade, high-quality hardware that at times has seen a shelf life of five years or less. Did I mention that some of it could be a down payment on a new car? Have you seen the price for a Titan X or a GTX 1080? Yet, for these limiting factors, it is natural to want to see a game as the developer meant it. Devs design a game to be viewed a certain way, and everything you experience is framed by that desire. The only reason lower settings are available, and this is my opinion, it's to accommodate the difference in PC builds that are able to run the game. Game devs love consistency, and that's why they try to maintain it on consoles, running at the highest settings optimized for a balance between performance and quality. It becomes clear, once you've had a taste of max settings, why so many gamers push their wallets as far as a dollar will stretch to have the best hardware. Gaming has been redefined time and time again. Its visual imagery has gone from jagged pixels to smooth, seamless definitions of form, polished to perfection. The appeal of max settings is an aesthetic issue, tied into the human perception of beauty. If gaming is an art form, then max settings are the clearest representation of that art at its finest. Once it takes hold, resisting its mental control over how you see a game can be difficult to resist. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then hit that like button to show your support. Even if you didn't like it, let me know, leave a comment, or make a suggestion. If the suggestion is good enough, I'll respond with a video comment. New videos are dropped every Wednesday and Saturday. Subscribe for new content, and don't forget, stay awesome.